Hey everybody, it's John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC, and today we're going to compare two of the leading 3D scanners under $1,000. We have the Revel Point Pop 2, and then we have the Einstar Shining 3D. If you watched my last video, you know that I had an absolute nightmare with the Einstar Shining 3D. I think it's a decent product, but it is not mobile enough for me. This Revel Point Pop 2 scanner should be able to hook up to my Mac and be mobile. We're going to compare the two, see which one I like best, and then the other one's getting shipped back to Amazon. Gosh, feels like Christmas morning. Let's cut this open and see what's in here. So there it is, the Revo Point Pop 2. I got the premium package with the little spinner. Get it out of the box, see exactly what it looks like. Oh yeah, you know I love a good carrying case. So check that out, it is embossed, Revo Point. It's pretty sleek. Let's see what's inside here. Two 3D scanner. So we do have a user manual that comes with this 3D scanner that's nice. Comes with a warranty card, scanner tripod. That is the actual scanner itself. It does come with a practice sculpture here. I like that. Something that Einstar did not come with. A little display. Looks like it's powered. So that's nice too. It'd be nice if it was just spin by itself. Alrighty, let's see what else we got in here. We have a whole nother pocket we have yet to explore. So a little Velcro strap. And oh, that's nice. Uh, I love the way that that's situated in there. You can see it's just one strap and they're just slide right out. So right there is your or a portable little battery. There's your phone holder. We got cables. We got the cables. There's half of our top right there. Goodness gracious. Top cables. I think that goes with the top. Our little marker dot. Of course. I need those. I'm assuming that's our calibration board right there. So let's get this thing out. Let's get it connected. Supposed to be able to use it with my MacBook. Who knows? But quickly before we do that, I also found this in my little packaging here. Don't necessarily know exactly what it is. It's got little salamanders on it. So I would assume it's made for some type of sticking. It looks just like blue Laffy Taffy. Feels just like Laffy Taffy. I'm assuming it's some type of adhesive that goes on your spinning platform. It has salamanders on it. Little lizard. Let me know what this is in the comments. It's nothing in the uh, owner's manual about it, but just want to show everybody that's an owner's manual that's in color. When's the last time you've seen an owner's manual in color? So that's pretty nice too. All right, let's get things put together, cleaned up, so we can get some scanning done. It'll take our silicone sticky rubber pad, and there are no really setup instructions with this, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is what this is used for. Nice and attached there. And it's got an on and off switch. Look at that. Nifty. There it is. That's your Revo Point scanner right there. Of course, I'm gunking it up with my fingerprints. Very beautiful little scanner. There's a little button right there that you're gonna wanna press in, slide it in, and then leave out. And that thing's in there. So it has the same pretty much GoPro style. And then it is a tripod. Check that out. Bada boom, practice head right there. And now we have all of our cables. And just with the massive headache that was setting up the Einstar, I feel like it's at least worth noting that they give you a lot of different cables for a lot of different situations. This turntable is electric, so they give you a little cable for that turntable. They're gonna give you a two-in-one mobile cable if you wanna use your phone. They'll give you a USB cable if you wanna connect to just any regular computer. And they're gonna give you a USB-C cable if you wanna connect to a Mac product. They're also gonna give you the power bank and the phone holder, which doubles into a power bank selfie stick. So a couple really cool features that come with the Revo Point Pop 2 scanner that do not come with the Einstar. All right, we gotta get our cables hooked up here real quick. So I'm gonna start with our turntable and the turntable does not come with a brick or anything like that, but you can plug the turntable directly into your power bank if you would so please. The cable seems to be long enough to plug it into um, a wall outlet. So you have, I mean, you got a, you know, you got four feet there. I'm gonna plug the power bank in here to see if it does work. And a little head up. My guy, she's turning. We're scanning. I can picture it now. I love it. And then I got my MacBook here. Let's get this plugged in using the USB-C to micro B 3.0 cable. This is gonna connect directly to the Revo Point Pop 2 to my MacBook Air M2. And then the micro B is going to go into the Revo Point. And you do have to screw in each side here. All right, we're all plugged in here and we need to download some software onto my MacBook and we should be ready to scan. Gotta calibrate first though too. So we're gonna go to revopoint3d.com, click on our little three bars over here, go to support and we're gonna go to download. And then download, you'll see a whole bunch of software here. For this purpose right now, we're gonna be using the Mac version. I'm gonna play around with the RevoScan 5.05 that just came out here. I don't know a lot about that, but I'll play with it here. Let me get used to it and then I'll definitely do another video on that. You have Revo Studio, you need to download for Mac as well. And if you have an Android, there's another Revo Pal you can download for Android. So let me get these downloaded here. All right, as much as I want to do some 3D scanning today, I just don't think it's going to happen. I cannot 
figure out how to calibrate this Revel Point Pop 2 scanner. You would think, John, there's gotta be a ton of videos out there explaining how to do this. There are, but there is nothing in the Revo Scan app that would lead to a calibration, and I'm clicking on everything I can. I love the way that the preview is set up. I think this is awesome where the two near, excellent, good, and too far. This is a great user interface. Go to the scan. It just wants to start a new scan. I don't want to start a new scan. I would like to calibrate. Go to model list. I don't really have any models to, to worry about. If you go to the guide, it will tell you how to calibrate the machine, but it does not tell you how to get to the calibration. I know that sounds goofy, but there is just nothing in here that would lead to the calibration. That has been a struggle right now. I need to figure out, maybe I don't need to calibrate it. So I need to do a little bit of research into that. And that's where I'm going to leave things out on today's episode. I need to figure out how to calibrate the Revo point. And as soon as I do that, we will be doing some 3D scanning. But at least today you got to see what comes in the box, how it all gets put together, what the user interface looks like. And we got to talk a lot about the comparisons between the Einstar and my personal opinions thus far between the two. I know I haven't done a whole lot of 3D scanning with this specific Revo point pop two scanner yet, but for $700 compared to the thousand dollars that you spend on the Einstar, it's just looking like the Revo point is going to be so much easier to use. It is mobile. It uses Mac products. I love that. The Einstar, I feel like it's a great product if you are scanning larger objects that you don't necessarily need to be mobile for, but when you're scanning larger objects, most of the time you need to be mobile to go to them. So that is just annoying in that aspect. I'm going to keep working with both 3D scanners, but my gut feeling is telling me that the Einstar is going to be the one going back to Amazon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss how all this plays out. I'm going to be doing some 3D scans coming from the Revo Point Pop 2 scanner. This is John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.